Oh, hi, Jason. Thanks for coming to Office Hour. How can I help you? You know, I was in class today, right? But um, yeah, is it, you can just explain to me, like, what happened, and then I can go home and study it. Uh, okay, yeah. So remember that the minor flats, the third and the sixth, which really only affect. It's really Hello, amazing. darkness, my old friend. friend. I've come to talk with you again. Two different positions on the guitar off. So, got it? Yes, I completely retained everything you had just told me. Um, okay, thanks. I'm going to go practice. I'll be back. I'm going to learn how to play guitar. Yeah, I'm going to do this. <laughs> I spent so much time on YouTube and Wikipedia. I am good to show you what I've learned. Well, Jason, it's really great that you were able to use online resources, but that doesn't substitute for practice, practice, practice. Okay, I'll give it another shot. Yep, that's definitely the guitar tutor. Hi, Jason. Come on in. Uh, all the stuff in class, I mean, it, it made sense, but I went home and, and I, I wasn't getting it. You know, you can't learn guitar by going online. You have to, you have to play. Can you tell me something that I should practice? Well, you could try this. Slow. Practice slow. Mm. How can I become a better guitarist like you? You have to practice, practice, practice. Work at it. Slowly. Bit by bit. It's not easy. It's hard. Three days later. Hi, my name is David John. I work for the mathematics department at the City College of New York. One thing that I suggest to my students is that everything that they see in lecture, copy down and then spend at least 25, 30 minutes going back over notes, right? And then starting the homework. Because you see it once in lecture and then the 30 minutes review afterwards, you get to internalize it and then you can apply it in your homework. You're more likely to remember the material and retain it. Right, and do better on exams and quizzes. I tell my students, after class, you sit and start your homework. And then when you go home and you have questions where you need help, you jump online and ask those questions. Right, if you had a question in a lecture that you, you, like a topic you didn't get, you can ask the online tutor. But you have to go in prepared with questions. You can't go in and say, oh, here's the problem, I don't get it. Right, you need to try the problem, right? Go back to your homework, go back to the notes you took in class and see maybe there was a model example, right? And then try the problem. Don't go to in-person tutoring or online tutoring thinking the tutor is going to just give the answer. You have to go having put in some work, right? That you tried the problem and you got stuck somewhere. This is like in 2012, right? Sitting down on Friday morning, my homework is due at 10 a.m. and 6 a.m. I'm, I'm sitting just writing up written homework problems, going online, quickly copying something down and handing it in and just trying to get moved to the next thing, right? That hurt me because when I had to take the exams, I could, I didn't really learn the material well, right? And I could not apply the concepts. 
I'm a big proponent of forming study groups, right? When students work together, they learn better, right? They're not alone, right? They'll ask each other questions, right? And then they'll come to office hours with questions, right? Sometimes like one student asks a question and that's basically what everybody has. Like right? they're all thinking about that one topic, right? Or, oh wait, oh, I had the same question. When you go to tutoring and office hours, that is studying, right? When you form your study groups and you're just consistently working on solving math problems, that is studying. It doesn't have to be you're in this room by yourself with a book, right? You can sit with friends. You can go to the tutoring center on the first floor. You can come to my office hours, right? You can go to the Ralph Artino lab. There are many places where you can sit with people and study mathematics, right? And that's what we want you to do. Oh, wait, I have one other thing that I say. Get a notebook, right? Get one, do not go to class without a notebook, right? If you're sitting in class without a notebook, it's like you're going to, going to a battle and you, and you don't have a shield, right? You gotta have your notebook, right? Your notebook is your friend. Come on by, MR529, the Ralph Artino Lab, 1511A, and I'll be there to help you. If you need help, I'll be there. I'll be your guy. So can you give me a confused look? You can pick yours. Okay, so that Bach Bray G minor nine seven five something to the world. You could play some sticks, huh? Remove all my mistakes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is David John. I work for the mathematics department at City College of New York. Oh, I need to cheer, but okay.